Sebastian Vettel, what Ferrari man said when asked about Brazilian GP qualifying incident Vettel was in action at Interligos on Saturday as he looked to lay down a marker for his rivals ahead of Sunday's race. But he was frustrated when he was called in to have his Ferrari car wait as rain started to fall. was eager to get his tires changed so he could record his quickest lap while the track was still reasonably dry. But in his rush to leave the way in area he broke the scales, leading to a steward's investigation. Vettel ultimately came out of the meeting smiling having only been handed a £22,000, negation 25, oh, 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 fine. And that came after he had given a couple of kg responses when asked about the incident having qualified in second. I think it's better if I don't say anything and Vettel said, when asked what he had to say about the episode. They shouldn't call us, because when the conditions are changing like that I think it's unfair if somebody gets called in and yeah, I wanted them to hurry up. Vettel was even more prickly when he was pushed further on what happened from his perspective. No, I don't want to talk through. Four-time champion Vettel added. I think it's pretty clear what happened, so. I think we do qualifying, we should talk about qualifying. Vettel was pleased with his qualifying performance though, which will see him start the race just behind pole sitter Lewis Hamilton. Pretty good, Vettel said, when asked how he felt the session went. I think it was fun. I think the track was good, as Lewis said, and obviously very close. I had a good start to my final attempt but yeah, tried a little bit too hard probably, going into turn 8 in the middle sector and locked the front and then lost a little bit the rhythm. Tried something special in the last corner, didn't work so. Yeah. All in all pretty happy. I think we got the car where it is happiest, and the balance was good in qualifying throughout, so we'll see. We'll start with a different tire, on Sunday. Maybe that can make a difference. The is the penultimate race of the season with the finale coming in Abu Dhabi in two weeks. Related articles, Sebastian Vettel faces disqualification as Lewis Hamilton secures pole position in Brazil. Lewis Hamilton may also be investigated by the stewards after almost crashing twice, once with Kimi Orkinen and another occasion with Sergi Sirotkin. Formula One chiefs often weigh cars between qualifying sessions to ensure they stay within the regulations. However, with rain starting to fall, Vettel was keen to get his tires changed to record his quickest lap on the dry track. But in doing so the German first drove over a con on the scales before leaving his engine running during the weigh-in, which is forbidden. The scales were then deemed unusable and no other cars could be used. The maximum punishment for damaging the scales is disqualification from qualifying, meaning Vettel could be forced to start Sunday's race from the back of the grid. The driver of car number 05, when called for weighing, refused to turn off the engine, and FIA statement read. The car was pushed onto the scales and weighed with the running engine, which makes it difficult to get a stable result. After weighing the driver drove off the scale under its own power and by doing so, he destroyed the scales. As the driver was not following the instructions and further compromised the continuation of the weighing procedure, I am referring this matter to the stewards for their consideration. Meanwhile, Hamilton may have to see the stewards later today after failing to get out of the way of Sirotkin, who was on a flying lap. I think Hamilton will have to take a trip to the stewards for that. Martin Brundle told Sky Sports. Lewis had two adventures on that lap. Any punishment could mean Hamilton incurs a grid penalty, which would therefore surrender his pole position. The Brit was the quickest in qualifying, just ahead of Vettel. 
Valtteri Bottas and Kimi Arkanen then wrapped up the second row, finishing third and fourth, respectively.